James, are you, is that a fire? Yeah. Has someone convinced you to making fairy bread yet? I... No. No one has ever convinced me to make fairy bread, because I don't even know what it is. Uh, he's got a point. Fairy bread isn't real. Hugs. Anxiety. Hugs. Good fairy job. Bread. Something that just... What something is... that just... It's, 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 it's... Something that just makes... Gives me that sugary, sicky feeling in my mouth. What is fairy bread, Dor? It's literally just bread, butter, and sprinkles. Jesus. That sounds like, uh, good, good on. It's not real. So, I got the achievement outside of the campaign. <laughs> Kill 100 swarm grubs. <laughs> it's an, it's an artery clogger. Mm -hmm. An Aussie classic. Huh. Well, I never baked before, so there's that, that's one thing. You don't bake it. You just take a slice of bread, put butter on it with sprinkles. I, I thought I thought you would need to mix the bud, uh, bread and sprinkles together. No. You just take a slice of bread, put butter on it with sprinkles. Hmm. It's what it's uh what can we give our kids at this party to shut them up? <laughs> Food. Hmm. Oh really? I know sugar. Give me some sugar. Okay, James, come here. Mm -hmm. uh, I am not happy at my 360. Why? It made me delete every single game and save file off it just for me to be able to play Dragon Age Inquisition. Dragon Age Inquisition, wait, on the 360? Is it, was it made for the 360? Yes. I thought Dragon Age Inquisition yes. was made for Xbox One and PS4. No, it was made for the 360 as well. Okay, well, it's a big game. It's one of the later games in Xbox 360. I had, I had plenty of room for it. I had all the gigs for the installation and everything. It still kept giving me the disc dirty or damaged error, yet the disc was not dirty or damaged because I had just ordered it from Amazon. Brand freaking new. I, th I think the issue is is that with games and systems, you need a little bit more space than what it normally says, because um, that's what games are nowadays. And as, so as soon as I removed everything off of that hard drive, that's when it went, oh, okay, and yeah, so I had the basic hard drive, so now I put on my wish list, since my family's doing that secret Santa thing, I put on my wish list the 500 gig hard drive thing. Like, here, I want a 500 gig hard drive for my 360 for Christmas. Thank you. It is on my Amazon. One of them can get me it, and then I can have all my games that I want on my 360. Now it makes sense. So, Dor, what is your favorite Australian snack? Give me your favorite Australian snack or food. I swear to God, if I hear the word Vegemite, I'm leaving. I don't know what Vegemite is. I really don't. Well, so I, disgusting. I know I've seen people um, talk about what it is. I actually hate Vegemite. Oh, though. thank God. Oh, thank God. I, I think I remember Matt saying he loves Vegemite, and I was going to ask him to send Vegemite <laughs> to me. It's fun. How can people, how can people eat that I don't, stuff? I don't know what Vegemite... I don't, me. I don't know what Vegemite uh, tastes like. That's the thing. And I, I've seen some people eat it. And they say that it tastes like fermented, like, it's like miso from, like, miso soup and stuff like that. So it's like, hmm, that's actually kind of <sighs> interesting. The only food to have when I'm sick is, it's like the only thing I can eat. It's very bitter. Okay. So it does sound like a little bit of fermentation. There's Vegemite, there's Boborite, there's all these different ites. Why the heck do they make them? Who is coming up with this stuff? What is wrong with them? Do they hate food? No, they hate you. Yeah, what's your favorite Aussie food? Like, specifically Aussie. Because you can say, like, in general, what other foods you might like. Because, like, uh, it could be in America or not. But I'm just like, I'm curious to say what's your favorite Aussie exclusive food. We wait with bated breath. Yeah. 
No, I'm just actually pulling up a few... a list I of... Refuse, I refuse to go to the bathroom until I find this out. Does it have to be a meal or dessert? Either or, I would say. No, I'm kidding. I actually gotta go to the... Oh, you paused your stream on Discord. How dare you? Did I pause my stream? Oh, I did. Oh, no, I... I, I... <laughs> Oh no, I, I minimized it. That's what I did. Um, let's see. We can't do. I have do... no idea what that is. We can't I do have no idea what Mask. that even is. What is it? Uh, Galmet, Golden Gay Times. What has that? Let me look at that up. I'm gonna have to look that up myself. Golden Gay Times. Why does my browser do that? Oh, it's a. Oh, it's a. It's a ice cream stick. It looks like one of those, um, like he, he, Oh, okay. Yeah, so it looks like, it looks like one of those, like, ice cream, like, we have something similar to that. Not exactly like we, it. We, we have something we kinda similar. We kind of do, and I actually have something similar like that actually in my freezer. Well, no, here's the thing, Will. If you look closely at the picture, um, while we do have, I, like, I, I something am. similar to the outer coating and the ice cream in yes, the middle, it's, 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 some, it's, something in the middle. There's something in the middle. It's like bread, yeah. almost. Yeah. See what we got in the middle of ours is more ice cream. Yeah, we have a lot. It's it's, it's like it's just, a, just chocolate coating and with like nuts at the outside and stuff like. Ours, I mean, we got ones that's got the. Uh, you can get ones with those. It's like a strawberry or chocolate breading kind of thing on the outside. Then there's vanilla ice cream, and then inside is either chocolate or strawberry. Ice cream. I kind of want to try. I kind of want to try this just to see it. But I know that it, even if uh, Door was willing to send one to me, uh, it would not go over shipping well because this is a perishable food. It's ice cream, especially um, unless there's like a way to keep a frozen ice cream over shipping. It's like I don't think this is going to be possible in any regards. I would literally need to go to Australia to buy this for myself. It's it's hard to ship ice cream. Yeah, like, like there has to be some kind of special container and everything for it. Oh, there's a restaurant called. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of. There's, well, go to the bathroom. There's Australian restaurants. Yeah, I got, I got, I got to pee. I've been, I've been drinking a lot of water today. Australian restaurants around here. Yeah. I will be right back. What's an Australian restaurant in Washington? Mm. Like, I'm curious. Bear, uh, this is a tavern for Australian sports, beverages, meat pies, and sausage rolls. There's, there's, there, there, there is literally a Australian themed restaurant called Kangaroo and Kiwi. Wow. I actually want to go to this now. So we got wedges, got nachos, crunchy naked wings, Aussie meat pie, Aussie sausage roll. It's 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 it literally looks like a tavern. It's like it's it's doesn't have much in terms of food, but it's Australian themed. Australia doesn't actually have a lot of original food. Right. Not the kiwis eat the kiwis. They're so cute though. Oh, right, right, I remember that. Okay. I'm actually genuinely looking up to see if there is... It's it's pointing at Red Robins as an Australian restaurant. What the heck? Ooh, a curry meat pie or snack? Uh, I can't exactly tell... Uh, let me let me double check that. Kangaroo and kiwi. So a meat pie, classic Aussie pastry filled with beef and gravy served a la carte. At fries, three dollars. It sounds a very simple one, to be honest. It's just beef and gravy. Okay, so nothing too big. What are you 
watching, James. What? I'm not watching anything. I'm hearing background noises from you. What? Like I'm not. I literally have nothing open. Like, I'm hearing noises from your mic, though. I have zero clue what's going on. What? Unless that, mm -hmm. unless that was from Will, I'm hearing something. What were you hearing? Like I'm drones. Hearing a... I'm hearing it too. Oh, oh that, uh, that, sorry. that is Will. Here. That is a Will then. Here, sorry. Let me turn my movie down. Uh, dog soldiers. Oh. Let's see. It's just beefing good. I mean, it's all right. Good road trip food. Servo sell little pocket pies. They're very, very silly, but I love them. They're like rectangular pies as well. Okay. Well, let's see. There is a there's a premium meat pie, uh, meat pies, which is a both a Australian and a British meat pie. Curry lamb pie, steak and mushroom, Guinness Irish stew. That's British. Chicken pie, shepherd's pie, loaded mac and cheese. Oof. Don't so we we're talking about food now. I'm 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 looking for Australian foods. There's like this one bakery company. It says like sausage rolls, lamingtons, beef and mushroom, chicken and asparagus, beef bacon and what? Beef bacon and cheese pie, chicken pie, beef pie, barbecue chicken pie, veggie pie, beef and cheese pie, tomato, beef tomato and onion pie. Is that it? Is that all the pies? <laughs> their pies are sloppy. We do it right. If their pies are sloppy, okay. Oh, you can actually deliver it to said area. Wow, okay. I'm actually checking to see if there's a curry meat pie or a snag. What the heck is a snag? Jalapeno chicken roll. Apparently there's one like that. Jalapeno cream cheese roll. Scone and jam. I don't see a curry pie in this segment. Snacks are easy, dog. Sloppy pie. <laughs> It's just normal bread, sliced onion, sausages with a so sauce of choice. Okay. So not too much. We got them pies. Perfect, the, per the perfect song to play right for the spooky season. Oh, Lavender Town. Yes. The only, t the only <laughs> Pokemon town you can visit with the Pokemon Cemetery. And they built a radio station over said cemetery. Two years later. Which I find strange oh you're not the and only that, one so don't they have haunting stand mm. then? The uh, passion, passion. okay so, so like a hot dog but better i remember meat pies aren't really a thing in america's right y'all do fruit pies and, sh and yeah we we do more fruit pies than anything um, meat pies are more common in, um, Europe and Australia. You made a meat pie in RuneScape. We make meat pies uh, via games, though. Yep. To be honest, some of the meat pies in our video games sound actually really good. Ugh. I've had a few meat pies, actually. It, 
IRL, and they were not bad. I want to be against at, at trying buys. I think I might have tried a meat buy or two in my life. To be honest, when I was a kid, I thought fruit pies were a Hollywood thing. I mean, to be fair, um, on, when we were kids, or like a lot of things, uh, be, be, like here's the thing: a lot of Hollywood movies are American-based. Like a lot of them are. Not so much nowadays, but back in the day, yo, they were so American-based. Um, but still, a lot of them American-based. So that's why a lot of foods are like American-based. So like when you go to Australia, have like there's not much Australian. Uh, European or Asian like all that culture like there's some cultures here and there, but they don't focus on a whole lot Okay, so I can't Oop. So yeah, D&D &D, No Majora's Mask, no Sortor, no Greater's Attorney uh, Could Dragon Warrior Monsters, no, because Jamie's not up. Alien, Reactor Trap, we done. Overcooked, no. Pico Park, no. Bloody Trap Land, no. Bloody Trap Land 2, Curiosity, no. And Ghost Trick, ooh, I can only do like two of those games. Trying to decide what game to play next. I'm deciding whether I want to continue it, which I kind of feel like it. I could technically do Sonic Heroes as Mike requested, but I feel like for the first episode, Mike should at least be on for it. Sure. Because if we can't do Dragon Warrior Monsters, mm. I want to do that with Jamie. Uh, James is tired, so I can't make him play uh, another game. I should, I should let you both know with Sword Sword, um, our, our actual physical teleportation thing, mm -hmm. uh, like our, our fast travel, know, teleport, yeah, our fast travel thing, now different they changed it again it Down. still costs it now costs by level so wh whatever your level is that's it'll now determine how much it's going to cost you okay and your instead now your map will show up and instead of just clicking on the on an uh your that weird little air those weird double arrow things mm -hmm. for that speeder bike now you get to click on what looks like a, a power button like you're turning on the power to something hmm. and sometimes it's hidden right behind some, what you actually need to click which is that double arrow so sometimes it's hidden right behind that so you have to click somewhere else So yeah, they, they 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 messed it up. There it is. Aussie team. So, hmm? Yeah, it's it's not, not funny not what they did. Aussie TV was crazy because we had better homes, garden, home, and away. Very heavy the Aussie and Terminator standing for the popular movies. So wait, there's another Terminator called. Terminator that's not related to the popular one in Hollywood is what you're telling me, Dor? Because I know that there was like a Terminator sci-fi one. I'm going to try Ghost Trick. You know what? I am on a roll with it. I'm not careful, an Irish or Scottish accent starts coming out of me if I'm not careful. Scottish. Or both decide to try to come out of me at the same time. I do not like it. Okay, cool. Switched it over. No, no. I mean, it was crazy having these heavily Aussie shows with super thick Aussie accents and then suddenly a thick American accent. I mean, to be fair, Terminator, um, Arnold has a Austrian accent. 
You know what's funny is that um, for a long time, I thought Arnold was Australian because Aus Austria and Australia, I keep combining because Aus they have Aus in their name. So I was like Austria and Australia, Austria, yeah, Austria and Australia. I'm just like, mm. it's like, oh, I mean, he feels like a Australian sometimes too. I just like, like, like yeah, what it's like my very very old um like back in the day like it was very generalized very like simple australian like lingo and meeting people i was just like oh yeah like because like the only australian i really knew a lot when i was a kid was the crocodile hunter crocky mate and i never knew he was australian so i was like arnold with having a heavy accent and then the crocodile hunter having eggs uh heavy accent but they're both also like aussie like aus with it with their nation and i'm just like yeah this is australian we had a lot of people of international tv since a lot of people didn't give aussie shows a chance i mean nowadays people are more international plus australia is becoming more of a like I mean, Australia became more of a nation, uh, uh, like a nature world, just because of the whole uh, crocodile hunter. Also, biz, Paris ogre. What the heck is Paris ogre? Ogres. <laughs> oh, oh yes, my two favorite Australians, crocodile hunter and Arnold. <laughs> biz, how you doing, doing? Thank you for the thirty-three months resub been a while biz how you been doing arnold's not even australian huh he's austrian no that's what he's making like dora's making a joke with me because i thought arnold was australian for a, a while because uh, like because like i was i was always missing austrian with australia because they both have os in the name and it's like they sound similar mm -hmm. enough they have e at the end australia australian yeah Australia. What is that? Paris Ogre. I don't know what Paris Ogre is. That's supposed to be like a emote or something. Uh, Seven TV or Twitch TV, whatever. It's that. Ex it's an extension with it. Ah. Uh, raise your hand. Like you just don't care. Do I have to? Yes. The question is, which hand? Uh, the one that I won't bite off. But you'd bite off either. You'd bite off either one of them. Exactly. And I can't raise my right arm fully above my head. Ever since I tore the pectoral tendon, I haven't been able to raise my right arm completely above my head. Mm. I haven't been able to raise it above that straight to a 90 degree angle. Yeah, but Biz, I hope you're doing well. How's your weekend going, coming along? Not without forcing my arm to. Have you gotten your Osu do that. stuff in? Oh shit, it's getting close. It's getting close to that one time. Yep. I think I heard a cat outside my door because I think that's Mike's like cat. I was wondering if I was wondering if that was coming outside my house or coming from your room. I, I don't know if you heard that on my mic or not, but I definitely heard a cat through my noise canceling earbud, the earphones, the headphones. I did hear I was hearing something, so I don't know if it was coming from my TV, from outside my house, or from you, or from somewhere. I know I was hearing something that sounded like either a kid yelling or a cat. Price, I know it's not my and I know it's not my cat because my cat I can't hear through these headphones. I mean if it, is it just a regular PS2? Like you have all the stuff completed and everything, right? And it's also in good quality, I'm guessing. It's not like a limited edition or anything like that, too. It's Ghost Snapper. Ghost Snapper! 
Just finished playing for a bit. How about you? Uh, we just finished. Um, oh, oh Biz, you mi you missed Carl because we played uh, Mar Party Four. I think you played with me and Andre slash James and Carl at one point, and um, Carl had such a big rage with it. It was yeah. so bad. The cat noises is, is Ghost Nappa. Okay, well, Mike having Ghost Nappa is interesting. It has Ghost, but it's over a good condition. Cheetah. My cheetah. My cheetah. I'm watching you. No. So I will say, depending on the amount of stuff you're willing to. So cable, power, memory, and controller. Uh, and there's like no limited edition or launch version. Yeah, I'm selling it. Uh, I would say, I'll say for a fair price for you, Biz. Uh, I'll go between a hundred to hundred fifty. That's what I'm seeing on listed prices. Oh, shit. Um, 150 is definitely like more of the pushing end of the era of it, and with I your. Love mines. Yeah, I still gotta check mm -hmm. on one of on those yeah. two original Xboxes. I still gotta check on those if the works. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll I'll say I'll say may I'll say like 100 to something like 150. I'll go on for a PS2. Home. You can try it out. Yeah, for a PS2 because. Biz promised me a PS2 because he said he was not going to use it, and I I need a PS2 because I have PS2 games like here. I've got a PS2 Slim I don't use anymore. I got I got to take that too. I got to check. <laughs> I got to check that one of my original Xboxes. I got two of them that I got to check to give to him. Funny enough, so Lord of the Rings I bought thinking I could play on my PS3. I can't. Kyle got me the Metal Gear Solid games. I can't play any of these. And I got Xenosaga games, which I can't play any of these. So, <laughs> freaking, I can't play any of these games, and I've been wanting to try these or test these. But I cannot play them because I don't have a PS2. I could take whatever PS2 is off people's hands, honestly. I'm more than happy. I see some PS2 listings for, like, $60. Um, that depends on, like, the... Uh... It doesn't Quality. have any of the. It doesn't have any of like the accessories. Yeah. Or I'll say with accessories, I think a hundred dollars is probably like a really good deal. So if Biz wants to go with a hundred dollars, I'm not gonna say no. So I'll go with it. If you want to also offer me with your PS2, I'll take a look at yours. Because again, Wait, I'll no. take I'll take stuff. What you're gonna do with two those? Uh, mod one. <laughs> More more copies i'll i'll mod stuff because i don't like to mod one of them because i like to keep the original because uh, i'm like i'm not sure what i want like if i want to keep the ps2 around just because like oh you have right because i've got the only two games that i really have any nostalgia for are battlefront 2 and okami ah. and i've already replayed okami and actually both okami and battlefront 2 you can get on steam yeah and I already have one on Steam. So that just leaves Okami and you can get the remastered for like ten dollars on Sin. Yeah, I already have I have Okami on like other on versions. You can try it out and look at it at all. Yeah, I'll, I'll try it out, Fizz, for sure. But uh, I used to have a lot more PS2 games, but then I'm like, I don't even like any of these. <laughs> like I got I got like a bunch of them from like a bargain bin at the GameStop once, and I played all of them. And I'm like, these are terrible. Like one of them like was a helicopter game where you just go pick up people and save them, I guess, in your helicopter. Mm -hmm. That was not terribly exciting. Mm. Uh, let's see. I have one too. Only mine was launch. So launch editions are are could be considered better depending on what they are uh omega thought yeah there's like pax australia yeah pax australia is still going on they go on till the weekend so it is sunday in australia right now so they're still going on now i i always sign up for omega thons and i never got it for the past like 10 some years i've gone been going i never got into it one day one year i will one day a year. Yeah, Biz. Um, but Biz, yeah. 
maybe if you could bring it over on Tuesday where the, uh, when you hang out with uh, Mike and Mike and like because uh, like I know that Castle Carl is interested in hanging out as well. Uh, I'll see if I can have uh, come out and hang out with you as well. Uh, but either way, uh, you can bring it then and either give it to Mike or me, who, uh, who's ever there, and I'll, I'll test it out and then I'll, I'll, I'll work out with you with uh, send, sending you money. Just coming to say, yep. And I'll, I'll just test it out on my stuff. Luckily, I have a TV that has component cables. Not a good high quality TV because I had this TV since I was like in university. But, you know, it has component cables, which apparently are a rare thing nowadays. I don't really keep up with cons. One was enough to last me a lifetime. So many people. I, I go to PAX West just to meet people because it's a great opportunity to meet people. This went to PAX West rare thing yeah no it is a rare thing like legit when i bought it i bought it for like the high quality hd like it was a 1080p and then i had another tv that has like oled and the quality stuff like carl helped pick it out and i bought this like last year and i didn't realize it didn't have component cables and i was looking online to see what tvs would have component cables this TV didn't have component, like a lot of TVs didn't have component. You had to specifically ask for component cables. And generally speaking, high quality like HD TVs do not have that. So I had to go back to my, my university days when I bought this TV for like back there, like 2015. This TV is like almost 10 years old and it had component cables. That's why I'm just like, because I have component cables, it's like, yes, it's not a CRTV, so it's like maybe some input lag, but I'm not exactly... I just want to play some games. Like, the only thing that's hooked up in my component cables at the moment is my Xbox 360, but I can play other component cable games like PSP on there. Um, and like other like consoles like my original NES and SNES, but I have other consoles that I can fix that and go through HDMI. So there's that. Yeah, but I, I, I've been wanting to try the Xenosaga games right here. I don't have one, and I don't have Gears. One and Gears are literally the two Z Xeno games I don't own. Because Xenosaga 3 is a rare game. This thing is not... It goes for a pretty price, by the way, guys. And I got... Xenosaga 2 is not that hard to come by. It's like, it's less, ex it's less expensive by a lot. But... Yes, they're, they're, I've been wanting to play that. Um, Corp's got second again in the Megathon. Ooh, nice. Hey, Biz, you should try some of these, like, um, JRPG games I have. <laughs> but you got plenty of other games. Biz, we need to play more games together. Technically, Biz, you and I have not even finished our playthrough with uh, Halo. Halo. I think we were playing with, like, Gonsu. Because I know I was playing with Max, but I don't know if I was playing with you with Gonsu as well. More rare things. Dor, I have so much rare things in my... I have valuable and I have rare things. Like... I got a, like, a launch edition, um, Steam Deck. Th this thing right here, I didn't get the cheap one, because, like, when you, on Steam, uh, you can buy these for $400. I got the most expensive, which is the 650 one. With tax, in U.S. tax, this goes up to 700 it Looks like Switch. It, it, it's a Switch, I would say, Skull, this is a really good Switch competitor. And I, I say competitor wise. So actually, let me pull out the OLED. So let's go with the OLED with a 350 versus a um, Steam Deck. Both have really good screens. Obviously, one's thicker and heavier. One's a little bit longer, as you can kind of see. And this one does not have detachable. But 
it has like a trackpad, which is actually pretty good soothing. The analog sticks are really nice, like super, super thick. And they're really good. This will be very likely not drift unless I do really poorly on it. Take care of it. Um, it has about the same battery life as like the Switch. It has an SD card and everything. Plays HD. Uh, but it mainly plays on the Steam OS, which is Linux based, which is a bit hardsome for some games. Like I can't, I can't even play Halo on this console when I wanted to try. But it, it sucks. Uh, but it is a good console for a lot of like Steam games, like a lot of them. Um, it's also really good for emulation because a lot of people have put emulation, and it's like it's one of the best emulation. Um, consoles out there so yeah it it has a lot of perks that doesn't have the switch and but it requires a dock to specifically put it onto the tv and everything so do i recommend steam deck i like the highest one is the only one that makes it worth but it's also easy to upgrade it so if you get the 400 dollars one buy the parts you will basically get a way better steam deck than buying a 700 dollars one so, especially when I get stuff on sale. So, in a sense, if you buy the cheap one and get the parts and you just know how to simply just move it because it's really simple, I think it's worth the money for people who want to play Steam games. All right. Uh, other than that, Switch has really good for like everyday use and like other games. So, that's my that's my two cents now. That I think about it. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna head off to bed. I'm gonna open your stream on my phone, but I'm gonna head off to bed. All right. Have a good night, Will. Thanks for the games. So, yep. Good night. Mm -hmm. And I'll see people on Monday. Monday. See you later. Later. Bye. Uh, I don't know how much about different consoles as I didn't grow up with them, but I, one day I want to play through uh, the original God of War game, so I will have to research one day things. So I can give you two cents about like what um, about the God of War. Um, I believe all of God of Wars were played on PS3. No, it's originally PS2. So, so, uh, yeah, just like it depends on what console. I believe all God of Wars can be played on the latest console if you really care about that. Um, but if you want to go for the cheaper one, PS4 is probably the best because I think Ragnarok was can be played on PS4. Outside of the mobile ones, uh, yeah, pretty much you can play all of it on the PS4. Because I think all the rest of it's on digital, so I that's one thing. Um, some of them may not be, because they might be exclusively to PSP, Vita, as well as, like, maybe only physically on PS3, because they never put it on digital. I don't know. But uh, PS3 or PS4 is probably your best bet for playing them. Now, the different versions of PSP, because, like, I have a PSP, PS3 that does not have backwards compatibility with PS2. So, you would need to research if you want to go for that. Because PS2, God of War is original, and but it's also on PS3 and PS4. It's, like, how original you want to be. Can you play yeah, Steam games? But I, I could, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, please, I'll talk it. Okay. Nintendo is closing the 3DS and Wii U shops in April. Mm, they already closed the shops already. They're closing down the servers by then. So, um, as a hot topic, I mean, I get it. They're already done with support with 3DS and Wii U. Um, it's server-based. Yeah, so um, games like with like dedicated servers will not be usable. Like Xenoblade 1. Splatoon, I'm not 100% certain about that because it's still peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, it just occurred to me that Queen was asking you, not me. I haven't slept up yet. Oh, Dor. No, it, I mean, that's it's totally fine, but Dor, please, get some rest when you can. I appreciate you being around, and I do like you, but still. 
Splatoon 1 doesn't, like, Splatoon doesn't even have any servers. Like, even Splatoon 3, that's all peer-to-peer. -peer. The servers is only, like, the rotations, which I guess, like, yeah, it would be. Yeah, no, I think Splatoon would lose the servers, but there's also fans and all that. It's almost night. I may as well wait. Okay, well, if you say so. Um, but, um... I smell dinner cooking. Ooh. Hi, James. Seven PM. Okay. But yeah, Splatoon probably loses. I know that I, I played enough Splatoon. That I won't be too bad, and I would need to. There's no time change. We all, we are the ones who get time changes, Skull, and we. I don't think we have lost an hour yet. Yeah, we we haven't, or. No, we haven't gained an hour yet. We have not gained an hour. No, I thought Australia. No, I thought America. Yeah, we lose an. No, we don't lose an hour. We. Or do we lose an hour? No, we gain we gain an hour. Oh, you do have daylight save. I thought Australia wouldn't. Hmm. Weird. I hate daylight savings. That's that's the thing. I don't think they help in any way. It's just tradition at this point. Yeah, because like I, I remember in winter time. Um, because this is like with Biz and Andre, because like they're in Hawaii, and it, like again, only in like, in America, only Hawaii and Arizona are the only two states that don't do daylight saving time. And I remember like it was in fall that because we're Australia is three hours behind, when we hit like our daylight savings, it would be two hours behind, which would be a lot easier for Andre and like other people to do anything. And the daylight savings for like Japan and Australia would be weird. My brain never gets the memo. Yeah, America is actually working on changing it to where we don't follow. Well, that's the thing. We are working on it. Do our government cares about it at the month as at the moment as like the main thing? No. At at the current moment, as far as I was I know, is that all the states have the capability to vote on getting rid of it now, but it is up to the states to when they vote on it. So. And at the current moment, they have not voted on it. Can we work on it too? Please, it's stupid. Well, talk to your government. Be a government representative. Become like the president of Australia and then change it. And then just and then just retire door. Be like, this is my legacy. I'm going kind of thing. That's it. We don't You think guys have a president? Well, government official basically, and just just the alpha for door. Of course you would, James. You just have to move. You have to get your Australian citizenship before to vote for Dora. Then I think my state has actually. Okay, so your state has, but at the current moment, there's no official way of like, no, no, no state at the moment has ever changed yet. I believe. Door for prime minister. Yeah. Oh, prime minister. Oh, right. They get voted out by the public every few months, usually. So, yeah. No. So, here's the thing. That's perfect, Door. So, then, become prime minister. Immediately take on daylight saving time for a few months. And then, when it's supposedly done by then, they just vote you out. And I'm just like, you're done. You're just like, you don't ever have to vote. It's it's genius. Like, you don't have to say longer than you need to. Just work on daylight saving times in a few, few months, and then you're good. It, it, it's like it's just it's perfect <laughs> we vote with vacuum yeah so it's like it, it, you you just don't stay as long as you need to because daylight savings is the only thing you want to do and that, that if that's your legacy that's your legacy
If the Prime Minister after door brings back the daylight savings, Dora's gonna have a riot. I still find it insane that you guys aren't mandated to vote. Yeah, I guess technically speaking, yeah, none of us are legally required to vote. It's just heavily pushed. Like, it is heavily, heavily pushed. I vote only for the things that I care about, and that's mainly the, like, like, I still vote for my stuff, but I, I say, like, with state stuff, I still vote for that stuff because I have more influence on what I pick, and I pick the ones that I really care about the most. This is why I don't like to talk about politics, because, like, it's a volatile subject. This is why I avoid on the streams. Pokemon go to the polls. We get heavily fined. Oh, really? Vegemite trade hit cog in rush jewel. Oh, really? They won't be out. It's genius. Yeah, they'll, they'll vote. They, they're not vote just vote you out door. They'll kick you out and ban you from Australia from that point on. Like, that's what would be basically is like you vote against Vegemite. They'll basically be like, you're not Australian anymore. Just kick you out. And he's like, you're going to either Asia, like in Japan or anything, you have to learn the dialect, or you're going coming all across the seas to America. That one last hydrate before I pass out. Oh, thanks, Will, for the hydrate. Get some rest, Will. Thank you for the hydrate, and I'll catch you later. Good night, Will. Oh, I just realized I was muted. I was gonna say, I was wondering when, uh, when you're gonna unmute yourself. I don't. I forgot why I muted myself. I just don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> Pokemon, go, go, go to the polls. I still find it funny that there was a guy who got paid to go around the world when Pokemon was popular and uh, catch all the region exclusives. Like, they even went to, like, Australia had a region exclusive kind of thing. I'm already learning three languages. I don't think I could take another let this so complicated. But you know English enough. It's not Australian English, but you know, like, 90% of the dialect. After that, you just need to learn how to, um, our slangs. That's all of it is. But even then, that's a more internet thing than anything. Um, you could speak, like, here's the thing. People love accents in Aussie slang. Well, no, that's not the thing. No, it's not, not your slang. It is our slang where we have, like, other stuff. Um... Like we like internet slangs. Yeet. Yeet and all that stuff. But again, that's the internet stuff you don't have to. And you don't have to change your dialect or any of your Aussie accents or anything like that. Because people love accents. They either they, well, here's the two things. You either people like find it interesting and be like, oh, you're so and so. Or they will absolutely hate you because they hate like specifically Australians for some reason. Dear God, I don't want to face your scones. Well, that's the only thing. That's the difference. Like, you have to change the culture and be like, there's no Australian food here. So you can never get your um, favorite snacks ever. Hmm. What's the one Australian thing that you can't live without, Dor? Like, if you were forced to leave the country permanently and never go back to not even a visit or anything like that and you can, like and you have to depend on like getting imports or anything like that what what's the one thing that you really can't live without of that's what i would be curious about what's 
What do you think of on that? Uh, James, you take over while I need to go. Um, I want to go get a snack. I was going to get a snack. You got Okay, well then, Dor, you think about it, and then both of us get snacks. I'll be right back. <laughs> So you don't really eat a lot of strictly Aussie food, but what about like something, how about this? To make it easier, something Australian, like specifically that is in Australia only. Like you guys have your kangaroos and stuff like that kind of thing. Like what 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 is something that is in, mainly in Australia that you can never live without with? Oh, sorry, James. Am I moving somewhere hot? Hmm. Would you prefer living in... Well, how about this? Would you prefer living somewhere hot? Because, like, there's different places, like, where it's, like, super hot. Uh, can be really windy, stormy. Has a bunch of hurricanes. Or natural... And or like exaggerated cold and hot phenomena. Like, do you want strictly just heat? Do you want more natural heat? Do you want storms, or do you want a really hot summer and it and a really cold winter? Like, those are the only things you get. Mm -hmm. Do you want any cold, like snow, guaranteed snow? And also, are you like a storm type of person? Do so you want guaranteed snow? So the West Coast and East Coast would probably be more a bit bad. Well, there's the mountainous ranges too. But if you're in the mountainous ranges or middle of the US, you start getting more storms, like tornadoes and stuff. If you go more of the south, like East, eastern southern side of us like florida you get also more hurricanes so like i guess like to answer your question i'll probably say you get a mix of both snow and heat all right so let's just say that so it's not strictly just heat completely but you get a mixture of guaranteed summer heat and a guaranteed winter heat with fall and spring be depending on where you are because it can be either spring be really really hot or normal or fall being like really really cold and or normal kind of thing Enjoy. so you'll be more of the east coast it will be or Cal mm -hmm. not much california more on east coast yeah 
I mean, if you move closer to where Skull is, um, she has more of that stuff. I think, right, Skull? If you're here. Super dupers. What's super, super dupers? I'm looking up super dupers now. I mean, like, like wait, Skull, is your summers really hot and your winters really, really cold? There's an Australian food shop. Freaking, um... Wait, are these like the ice cream? These are similar to like some of our stuff in America, actually. I think this is exact, like very similar to the stuff we have. Hmm. Super get, huh? Hold on, I have to look up what a super duper is. Yeah, nice. Yeah, Skull told us, Craig. Congratulations, by the way. It's it's like one of those like what was those things called? It, it looks similar to like those pops. Uh, Otter pops. Otter pops. Yeah, it's, it's like Otter pops. I was gonna say it looks like Otter pops. Yes, blame Canada. Okay, like yeah, like I said, not a lot of original foods. Yeah, okay, the every household in Australia had a packet of those during summer. Okay, yeah, they're called Auto Pops. <laughs> At least something similar to that. Thank you. Thank you. Crate's ejected. Oh no. So, Crate, what are you gonna do now since you hit King of Games? Also, how is a uh, rush duel for you? You know what they always say it's the least sus that is the most sus. See, no, it makes sense. If you're least sus, people least expect you, then it's like, you're the most sus. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I figured they got in Speed Duel. I'm asking, like, how do you think of Speed Duel overall? Like, do you like it more than the other ones? Like, Fusion, Synchro, XZs, um, Pendulum, Whatever Vrains is, like I don't I don't know what what you like. Preferably, I say. Oh. I think um I don't know why you spelled Sakura's name wrong. Weird. Oh no, you did you did Void Lord. Right. Bless you. A lot of our sweets are actually worse than America ones because of the ingredients to stop them from melting. That's true. America has like special ways. And again, like it's a lot of the products of this world. Because apparently a lot of things revolve about America stuff. I like Skull 1 against you. Add more... Add Add, add a more a thousand um a thousand years to the dungeon. Remember, Skull's still in the dungeon. Mm -hmm. Run a rush is too easy for someone with my experience, to be honest. Okay, so it's more for newcomers. It sounds like. 
So what's your favorite type of duel then, Craig? Like, what's your... What's the duel that if you were forced to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And you can only play this set, this style, will be your own, only choice. And the other ones are basically you can never play those kinds of cards ever again. <laughs> Queen. So things like Lamingtons and stuff would probably be better in America. Probably. I'm actually Yo. generally want to know crates like because he knows like Yu-Gi-Oh really well. I want to know what's his preference. What does goats have to do with? Or what? What are we talking about goats? I don't know. Green says gold. <laughs> Goat. Is she a goat now? Meh. <laughs> Guys, we have a runaway goat. Um, uh, James. Uh, round it up. So, Cormet, I don't know what that means. Is that you, Gil? Probably. <laughs> What I'm asking, Craig, is specifically if you are only forced to play, I guess, like, like in a sense, summoning or mechanically sense, like, you're only forced to do that. So, like, if you sense, in a sense, um, synchro summoning, say, like that, any fusion monsters is banned, pendulum and all that stuff, all the other stuff is banned for you. You can never use that, and you can only use the cards that can actually synchro, but you can use any other cards that allow the synchro and stuff like that. You just cannot use any monsters that require that. Also, fusion. You were just like pure, pure fusion. Honestly, I would go with fusion. Everything else is more complicated to me, and it's just like it just overcomplicates the game to me personally. Mm. Uh, let's see. I just uh, realized America has so much more spice options than we do. Wait, what? What spices do you not have? I know, like, again, like, America is, like, the biggest in trade dealings in certain ways. Fusion summoning is fun. I mean, I, I played, like, um... I don't know if you were there a whole lot, Craig. No, actually, I think you were. Like, this was before Skull was around. I, I played, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Spirit Caller. I actually had fun with that because I had a lot more... Fu I had focus only on fusion. I think that was a pretty fun one. Um, when I, I tried 5Ds with all synchros, I was like, meh. Like, it just made me do more math calculation and, like, think of all the stuff. So, like, it was, like, pushing my limit of, like, what I care about Yu-Gi-Oh. Also, why do you have X XZs? Like, Skull, what do you like about XZs? I've seen Yu-Gi-Oh on here a few times. Yeah, I've only played it... Two, I only played... Well... Three games. Uh, Duel Links first, and I've only played it once on stream? Yes, I have played it twice, but one of them was on Carl's stream for a joke, and the other is was on my stream for like one time, and I never picked up Duel Links ever again. And I did Spirit Caller. Like, Duel Links one, um, you never saw my stream. This was way before you did join in, Craig. Um... I don't even know if I have that still footage. I know, I think I do. I saved that a long time ago. Um, I remember the joke duel fat. Yeah, that one was there. Um. Oh yeah, door. Uh yeah, what kind of spices do you want to try here, I guess? Cuz like apparently you say like America has more spices than you do. Uh but yeah, I played Spirit Caller. That was a big one. And I enjoyed that, but that took a, a pretty long time. But I still enjoyed that. And then I did 5Ds. Which, in a sense, was like... It was a little bit much, because like... Um... That was getting already more Yu-Gi-Oh! than I wanted. Uh, I love uh, them. They're extremely powerful, and it's extremely... Fun. If they hit plat... One... Okay. Okay. I don't know XE, XE's cut summoning, nor did I care about it. Um, 
people like it that's fine i just think Yu-Gi-Oh is too much and i'd rather go with the simple fusion i'll fight just pure if if crate and i were to get any cards and we were make a pure fusion deck i would fight crate in a pure fusion deck only hey crate if we ever had an opportunity, I, I seen this on YouTube, so I'll, I'll, I'll credit those people like um, Team APS, and like I seen like Dato Doya and Syriax YouTubers and everything. I seen them play on like um, luck that luck deck only decks, like during the Fusion era and stuff like that. And um, straight up, every single card is built around a special type of luck. Like one deck is coins and one deck is dice rolls and i was like maybe we could do something similar but we can choose whichever kind of luck cards maybe i don't know it's like definitely not repeats but it's like definitely having a luck deck would between me and crate and just fight it out and just be like who's luckier and then see who loses <laughs> i mean we have some decent spices but it's hard to get your hands on literally on and literally you cannot Get your hands on some food so you guys have like spicy candies. Oh, really? You don't have spicy candies? I feel like you guys should have be able to get it because you're close. Well, I feel like, yeah, you guys should be closer to in certain areas for shipment. But I guess like, yeah, America, again, is the king of shipping of a lot of things. Metro Fusion. Oh. Just Pallet Town, yeah. Yeah, Team APS is really good with casual from Yu Gi Oh! Like, like, again, like, it's, um. I, th I think, like, like I don't want to invest in Yu Gi Oh! cards and stuff like that. If there's, like, a pro. Like, I mean, th there are programs where we can literally get whatever cards we want. And then Crate and I, you can just, like, you and I just fight it out and just be like, all right, who's more lucky? this and i've seen like master duel people do it it has all the nice animations but of course you would need to spend some money to make and craft some of the cars and i'm just like i don't want to do that although i like the animations it's like it's a big investment hours drive um i found a king of games emo huh Cool. Well, I'm not surprised that um, America has some stuff that Australia doesn't or a lot of that stuff. Because again, America has like a big trade with a lot of things and it's like popular in a lot of areas. Like, like we're the, we're the place that be like, if you have us as business partners, you're almost guaranteed to have us like a good sale as long as your product is good i think i've tried those spicy candies before they are nice but they're always never my favorite but why am i going to the dungeon No, Skull's in the dungeon. You're the dungeon keeper. Ah, watermelon and pineapple. I had some pineapple fried rice today. Dude, pineapple fried rice is pretty good. You know what's funny is that I started only learning about pineapple fried rice only because, um... Um... What was it? Shokugeki no Soma, or Food Wars. Mm -hmm. Um because they had like a pineapple uh, fried rice there. And I was like, you know what? I'll try it on some like other Thai restaurants and stuff. And it was actually pretty good. Afford a Discord post, go to the dungeon. Oh. Oh, oh my God. The reminder of Swole Alexis. Yes. I forgot <laughs> about her. <laughs> Probably one of my favorite memes that I made. Dude, that was... Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Spiracola had a lot of moments. 
Like, I posted this on Reddit, and I'm like, I made, because I, I was like, yeah, my friend's playing Yu-Gi-Oh, and I made this cursed meme, and then someone, like, the, the only comment is, I would still smash. <laughs> I'm actually, I like Yu Gi Oh! GX era is definitely my favorite era of Yu Gi Oh! personally. Uh, the funniest candy I've tried is Scorpion Lolly. Funnest. Oh, funnest. Lo it's Scorpion Lollipop. I want more. Scorpion Lollipop. Is it, I'm guessing they use the um, Scorpion um, Pepper. I, I believe that's it. Great. I know that. I know, and I'm literally being taunted right now because we have watermelon in the fridge. Pineapple fried rice sounds wide. It's a legit thing. It's Asian, actually. More Asian than you know. I want to try more Hawaiian food, like actual good poke and everything. I need to ask Biz to take me to some good Hawaiian restaurants around here and actually try some of that. Salt brings the sweetness out more to watermelon. Oh, that's some root... R34 crap. Hey, watch your language, James. Mm. Watch your language. We try not to say the P word on here. Hey, I didn't say it was the internet. Yeah, just, I know that some people, like, get caught by saying that word, so I'm just like, I gotta be careful. And straight up, a uh, baby scorpion in a lot of, oh. Oh, those types of lollipops, okay. Okay. I remember seeing those. I'm holding back my shoulder away, and he's going for it, shaking my head. <laughs> You know what's funny is that, yeah, you guys say it so many times. I'm, I'm so, like, used to Matt, when he joined uh, my calls and everything, he would just say, like, the randomest things that I would not say. But it's like, apparently in Australia, it's the most natural thing. Yeah. I've actually crayed. Um and so I've been actually considering um checking out some more Yu-Gi-Oh games just because it's been a while. I've only been considering it. Um there was like a I was looking at other Yu-Gi-Oh games that could be more fun because I don't want to try ones that are unfair or the like the forgot like the the notorious one where you have to battle like seven in a row and they always cheat or something like that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I there was one like I want to go for more of the GX era. I don't for anything Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, would you fight in Yu-Gi-Oh, knowing that it could you can lose your soul? Debatable. Each Yu-Gi-Oh is debatable. Cursing is usually positive in our culture, and that's the difference, I mm -hmm. guess. It's one of the things, like, yeah, cursing is like, um, like, like, here's the thing. Like, um, I know that in, like, in, in Australia, like, in America, saying you're my B word, like the, the B word, um, that in America is taken usually the wrong way as in like it's usually considered as a really bad way to call out a lover of any kind or even like or even a person because that just makes you super dominant and um all that and i know in australia when you say something like something different it would be um 
if you say it like about the same way or like use the b word in any of your sentence it's you it's considered a, like i guess you guys say it's a compliment um like a really like it's a like close buddy and stuff like that i'm getting it right or on that Hmm. Not some of those wacky ones that completely ignore the rules. Let's try. I, I want to try like the five D's one. That the five D's like racing one that completely ignore the rules. <laughs> that would be funny. Hmm. Oh, the C word. Oh, the, oh, I hear the Aussies love the C word. That's also that's also that too. I have a game I redeem my 100k. Ooh. There's also that, yeah. The C word is also that. Because I know I heard from Matt, it was like both the B word and the C word. That was both really. And the P word. And the D word. <laughs> and the A word. There's a lot of words. Mm -hmm. The C word. The C word. C word? It's like squid word. <laughs> 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 Who put you on a planet? Uh. Eh. But, um, yeah, no, I heard that that's like a usually a popular one. I mean, I've met so many of you Australian folks at this point. Like, I, I've learned some of your guys' lingo. Like, when you guys say it, I'm just like, oh my god, you guys are saying it without any hesitation at this point. And I'm just like, yeah, that's just the culture over there. Like, that's a culture shock a little bit for me. And, um, and it was like, and same thing, like, with, like, European, like, Scottish people, and you just be, like, Irish people. It's just like, yeah, this is normal. And I'm just like, well, that's normal for you guys, but not normal for many other people. Mm. Australia and America have pretty different cultures wise. It's pretty funny. I mean, to be fair, though, you guys are literally like in the furthest time zone, like almost the furthest time zone away from us. So interacting with you is almost like on a different level. Europeans will be worse, though, because technically European is like the exact opposite time of America because they're like almost 12 hours ahead. And so that's where it's like, it's weird considering the fact that I feel like Europe would be one, but I guess Europe is a little more populated. Because um, like Australia, you guys are like 16 hours ahead. And while you guys are in a different day, you guys are kind of workable in many areas. So like if it's like the evening for us, it would be like um, afternoon for you guys. It would be like, it would be like evening for you guys or going nighttime. It would be more like afternoon for us. So yeah. 3 a.m. streams pretty much it's also a thing with a problem with time zones like i have some european folks that i uh that used to watch me and um i used to stream until like 4 a.m and then they would be up and be like oh yeah it's like only 11 i'm just like jesus i'm indecisive okay james is always indecisive James, stop being ind indecisive. Uh, no yawning. Fight me. I'll fight you. Go start a party animals and I'll fight you. We don't have, have to. We have not enough group members to play a good, good group for party animals. I mean, I have it, but yeah. Uh, I thought it was on Game Pass, but that it wasn't. I, th I think it is on Game Pass. I looked, I, I saw it. I opened up the Xbox app and I saw like under party, like there's a thing that's like, oh, check out these party games. And it had like a look in the little um, promotional art. It showed party animals, but I click it and I followed it to where the games are. And it wasn't there. And I just searched up party animals. And again, it was not there. I was like, I saying it, 
It's saying you can play it on on Xbox. Well, it's well not for. I mean, it's sure it's on Game Pass, but it's not on Game or it's on, it's on Xbox. It's, yeah, it's, it's on, on PC, on, but it's not. Oh, not Game Pass. Oh, here it is. Is Party Animals on PC Game Pass? Unfortunately, Party Animals is currently not available on PC Game Pass. However, if you're a PC player looking for more fun, you need to purchase the game separately. Find it on the Microsoft Store or Steam. So it's not on PC, yes. Or at least not Game Pass. It's on Game Pass Xbox, that's it. Oh. I, wa I watched like two, one to two people that aren't that bad times otherwise, but I can't understand them. You win some, you lose some. Party animals. Yeah, like, um, I, I can't watch like certain people that often anymore, like Frog, and like I remember watching Emden. And I really can't watch them that much anymore because I, I try to go to bed uh, a little bit earlier. And because of the different time zones, it's just a lot harder for me to watch anybody now. Like, back in like 2020 when uh, I met Kraid, um. No, when, back in like 2021. Yeah, sort of good. Sork Bod Sork Bodil. I think that's Yeah, that, that's I. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome to my stream. How you doing? Some I don't I don't get to watch Frog anymore. Sorko. Welcome to the stream. We're just chatting right now. Nothing too big. Um, I, I'm honestly just like, I thought I was going to play a game, but I guess not at this point. Like, I'm just here chilling with everyone. Can you act to a Swedish rap? Um, unfortunately, not tonight. Uh, I don't want to react to stuff at the moment. I'm just chilling with the, um, chat. So we're just talking and reminiscing and also asking questions at this point. Um, so yeah, you can drop by and hear uh talk about stuff but uh unfortunately that stuff okay bye take care have a good night good night i pop by frog sometimes but i'm not a huge fan of twitch these days so i don't stay long i mean that's fine i get it um twitch has been it's different like again like with like it's different because like i remember when i was like joining matt on his streams i like 2021 was like the big one um I would stay up like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. with Kraid on like a regular basis. Um, and that was also the time I was like when I was hang hanging more out with like uh, Grace and Kyle, which their their um, streams are also like later at night. Like they, they are in Japan. So it's a little bit different. So yeah, it, it's definitely different different i miss some of that stuff but i obviously can't couldn't stay up that late forever because i needed to work and all that stuff like different japan time and australian times are just like really late and obviously a lot of european uh buddies would just come in and be like Bleh. Yeah, again, I sometimes miss those days, but at the same time, they were uh, definitely days that were uh, pushing my uh, sense of sleep and health a lot. I remember, I think you remember this door too in the crate as well. Like I would stream for like twelve hours, from not one um, from one time to end. I'm surprised to catch your stream to be today on. I mean that's fine, Dor. I appreciate you dropping by anyway, saying saying hello and everything. Um, I know everyone is busy nowadays, um, and yeah, I remember. Yeah, and again, I miss I miss a lot of people. Shout out, Dor. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. No game. So they never streamed. Oh, uh, I thought you... Okay. Well, what did you mean by 3 a.m. streams? So that means like, you're watching someone else's stream at 3 in the morning? Probably. 
Okay. You murdered someone, James. What do you mean I murdered them? There's a clip running. Oh yeah, that was my fight club where I, um, I took a pack that made that means I was not allowed to let people die of old age. So this was my alternate means of <laughs> what? But, so uh, just have the old people fight each other. But yeah, um, I I do, I do somewhat miss those times, but at the same time, again, like I could I couldn't stay up too late. Um, I can't stay up too late now. Um, I mean, today I I should probably end off my stream relatively soon because I gotta get up, not early but early enough so I can get to hang on because I I haven't got to see uh, two buddies in like forever and I have a scheduled like in a sense dates with both of them uh, for a lunch, really lunch. special. Uh, I'm seeing other people now. We were, we, we've already divorced. Mm. <laughs> um, but, um... Yeah, I, I, I miss those things. Because, again, I... Um, oh my god, I gotta get all dolled. <laughs> of course. Um, but... 2021 would always be a year that... I genuinely um, enjoyed. Um, while I didn't do a lot of work during that time, um, it was a year that I got to hang out with, I got to meet people like Eudor. Because I met Matt and Craig at the end of like 2020. Yeah, it was like the best year. Like, I met Matt and Craig, and it was like, Matt was like my first raid. And I met them like, cause I still remember, I still, I remember having that in clips though, where it was this Matt who was streaming random Coliseum and I was like, okay, here we go. Cause I think I was also playing Coliseum and, um, we just chatted for a little bit and it was fun. And then 2021 and then we got to meet the other people, we got to play a bunch of games and do a lot of things. And then when the pandemic started, like in a sense, opening up because technically we're still in a pandemic. Um, people started going out and doing other things, and I haven't talked to a lot of them in a sense. And it's like, I get it, like, life comes back, you can't dedicate time, but there's still a part of me that wishes that we will all still gather. I'm not, I'm not saying, like, every day, every week, maybe not every month, but, like, at least once in a while, just be like, come back and say hello to each other. Like, uh, we're, we're doing together. Like, th th like, again, like, this, this is, um, like, Dora, like, uh, like, you're doing, and, like, we're doing, like, I do, like, a weekly stream, and it's mainly me playing games, but I also do this for, like, hanging out with people, just be, like, chit-chatting. Sometimes it's the most randomest things. Sometimes it's just me getting through the games that I want to play. Like, I would, again, like, I would, I would, I would put up, a uh, visual novel, but those visual novels take a lot of, like, talking, and I want, like, do a lot of that stuff, which is why I don't, I've been foregoing that. Uh, I should probably put up a single player game so we can chat more while I do stuff. But um, no, I, 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 I do genuinely like these chit chats. And I think that's why I like the streaming and I've been kept doing it for like all these five years because of just because of this, like, I got to meet so many random people, some of which I haven't ever seen since, like, certain times. And things have changed. Uh, but I wish always the best of a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of old, young, younger squad are straight up graduating this year. And I'm like, dang, so much has gone down since we first met. Yeah, and yeah, I remember, I remember Dor, like, this was, like, two years ago at this point still. And I, it's like, you were working hard in, like, school and stuff, but, again, this was still in the middle of, like, the big pandemic. So, your school and stuff like that was, like, more online and everything, right? So, it was a very different time. And, like, I remember Fanto streamed a lot when I started encouraging him because he didn't really get to do much because he just graduated at the end of 2020, which, Unfortunately for him, he had to do like a lot of online stuff and didn't really get a graduation ceremony, which sucked for him. 
So, he didn't really get to do much in 2021, so... Yeah, and that's why, um... I mean, still... Uh... It was one of those things that, um... It was, like, a lot of different circumstances, and if 2020 didn't happen the way it did, we would have never met each other. Like, as straight up. Um, I would probably have kept streaming just the way I did, but, um... I don't think Kraid would have, have... I would have never met Kraid. I don't know, like, Kraid. Um... Because, like, I, I think, Kraid, you told me that it was because of the pandemic that you started looking into, like, the other streams and stuff like that. And I didn't... I, I might have raided Matt if he was streaming randomly, but I also doubt that. And, like, a bunch of other people, like, Max, Biz, Andre... Like, again, like, a lot of people um, just randomly started streaming, and I just, like, met them and online, and we were just like, you know what? We'll just hang out with each other. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, like, if the pandemic never, hap uh, never happened, I think we would have never, all of us would never met each other in, in some capacity. There may be some luck that we might have just popped into one of our streams at, like, but much later date is what I would say. I would have pushed art to decide by now if I never got pushed into creation more professionally. You know, makes sense. There's a lot of things I want to do, too. Like, um, I want to do more um, content creation, for sure. I don't want to do it as a job, because how much content creation is saturated and all that stuff. I want to do it for fun. And, but I want to hire an editor, because I can't always dedicate time for it. And my attention span to editing is very limited. I still have a bunch of videos I have edited. And still needs to be finished editing. Pandemic definitely made this all happen. Yeah. Again, like, Pandemic was really bad, but it definitely made us all closer together. Crazy playing no game. He has no clips. By Matt uh, Telly, I okay. mean. I was like, I could have swore you were a streak. Yeah. Yeah, Matt and Telly. I, mi I miss them. I miss those guys. Um, I hope they're both doing well. I've been trying to contact Matt here and there, too, and I haven't reached out to Telly in a little bit, and that's more my thing than anything. Um, but I hope, I hope, um, I hope they do, I hope they're doing well. I wish them the best, for sure. Um, as short as a time we've got to interact with each other, some of the stuff, favorite memories I've had on streams was with them, too, so... Uh, like, I actually, here's something, the door. I go, I've been working on my YouTube archive channel, uh, for the past few days. Um, I actually finally got to organize a lot of that stuff, like, crazy. you can actually watch some of that stuff. Actually, I probably will start organizing Spirit Caller, now I think about it, um, at some point. Because that's a big, big plethora of videos that I, I probably want to get into. And there's a lot of memories with that, and Craig, you know this, too. So you won't be able to contact him? Yeah, I mean, if I won't be able to contact him, that's fine. Um, I did try messaging him earlier this year at one point, and he never responded. Um, but I, I, that's fine. I, I'm nothing against Telly. Uh, he is doing his own thing, and as long as he's doing us all right, I, I'm fine with it. I Again, like, I'm, I'm more of a sentimental type guy where it's like, uh, I wish there was times where we just like hang out again at some point, like nothing serious, just to hang out. So there's that. I know I've talked to Rivers not too long ago, and I haven't talked to him in a little bit, but uh, Rivers has been doing well too. His baby has been taking care of his like uh, sleep uh, sleep deprivation. <laughs> um. Yeah, but editing, yeah, editing's frustrating. It's like, it's one of those things, I kind of want to have some fun with editing, but I was just like, um... I want to get a dedicated editor. And I wanted them to edit, like, in various different edits, something serious, something not, like, something really good edits, something more cut-up, fast cuts. Others are just... I know Telly was in the talks with it, but then it kind of dropped the ball in a lot of cases, and then that's fine. I wasn't paying him. And we were just trying to get something situated to get uh, payment. Because I, I don't want to... I'm not one of those people who are going to mistreat an editor. I want to pay an editor for what they're worth. They do a lot of work and they do a really good job. I'll pay them the amount that they deserve. I'm not going to be a cheap ass. 
I won't. I'm, I'm not going to be a cheap p person on it. Yeah. Go cricket. Yeah. But it's something I want simple as it. just jump cuts or just simple, like, put things stitched together. Like, simple stuff. I don't want, I want various different types of edits. Something that I think too big. Um, but yeah. Um. Yeah. And, yeah. And so I'm glad that Telly's doing well. I haven't heard from Shed in, like, a long time. I know George has popped by here and there, but George is also in a different time zone. Um, I know Lyft has been, I haven't heard from a long time, because at least it's some Australia mates. Um, Frog came back, and then I've been managed to catch a couple of streams sometimes. And then, um... I don't remember any other Australian mates other than Matt, Telly, you, Shed, Lith, Frog. Um, yeah, um, Frog. There's also um, Frog as well. Also, as, as a joke store, um, uh, Warden. I haven't heard from Warden in like forever. <laughs> Jed is also doing well. She's graduated end of this year and even has a whole job now. Oh, dude! I have trouble getting a hold, <laughs> hold of her with school and hockey. Of course, yeah. And I'm glad, again, I, 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 I like simple updates. As long as they're doing well and they're not, like, in any problems, I'm fine. Um, if you ever get a chance to get a hold of Shed, anytime soon door uh please give my best regards and uh uh let me congratulate her on graduating and uh getting a job and all that stuff i hope she does uh is doing really well like um give her give her my best regards omg warden yeah door uh please tell me where 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 is uh warden um you're the only person i know who has contact information of warden hmm I haven't heard of Warden in like mm, over a year. <laughs> uh, I'll pass the mess along. Yeah, I haven't heard from her in forever. I miss my little sissy. Uh, are you talking about Shed or Warden? And that's crazy. Let uh, me uh, message Warden. <laughs> yeah, you better message Shed. Oh yeah. No, I, I, again, like I, I miss, I miss a lot of our crew in online crew i mean i i, I will say this uh, I, I i say this before and i'll say it again door um i will guarantee going back to australia one of these days uh, it's not anytime soon because i i've been trying to save up some money and doing other stuff too weedy weedy what up <laughs> ah nice hi warden i'm using door hmm, for some reason mr grind oh yeah um, but I'll go visit Australia at some point, and one of my goals is to for sure... Yeah, still their account. Oh, so, still their account. Ooh. Door, you can't have people steal the, your account all the time. Door totally didn't lose the account password. Mm. Yeah, Door, door uh, doesn't ever lose stuff. You know, I, 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 I highly doubt Door ever loses anything, like, especially account password. But, um, yeah, no, one of my goals is to, uh, go visit Australia. For whether it be, like, a convention or just, like, a vacation. But also make it a big, big goal to see people like you, Dor. If it, again, if you're comfortable with it, of course. Um, like, I, I've been wanting to meet Matt in person. And, like other people in person like again like skull you and Craig, i want to meet there's andre how is how was your games andre suck an egg as well uh he, he heave away heave away he, oh heave away you rolling king we're bound for our strip i don't even know what that is james heave away heave away i remember I don't know, yeah ah uh, 
Andre, you always suck an egg, though. How you been doing? Get some rest. Well, it's it's only like before midnight for you, so there's that. So it's like you're you're gonna get some rest soon. Still sucks that you're three hours behind me. Games were bad. Were they really bad? Were you playing Counter Strike or were you playing like Valorant? I, I knew you were playing a shooter. I wasn't paying attention to what you were playing. Uh, visit anywhere where Sydney can. I'll go to it. Let's go to Sydney just to go see it because again, that's where a lot of things are for touristy stuff. So, but I'll 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 drive to places if need be. So like yeah, like Melbourne to meet Matt and stuff like that. Well, convince Fanta to get over here. Uh, when when we go and finally travel, Skull. Uh, I think what we could do is like travel to Pax East and for sure. Uh, find time to travel to you where you and Crate are, and Luigi too. Like, we will just see you guys for once. It'd be cool to meet you for sure, introduce you to some pot, proper Aussie culture. Ooh, what's, what's this one? Was that a footstool? Oh, this is Biz and um, Andre fighting each other. Man, this is old. Oh man, I don't even know. I don't even think I saw that one, but that definitely was not too long ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, Dodor, I'll definitely want to see you. I played some Val CS2, so both, they were both bad in both. I played Findo, just saying. Okay, so Andre, you are the king, but uh, your teammates were holding you down. Got it. That's further than from me. I mean, yes, but we can still drive. Pax East is usually in Boston, New York. It's in Boston. It's in Boston. That was heck of long ago. If there was lights in my background, it was like 2021. Yeah, I was going to say, it was like 2021. Because you are in a, you were in a different place in like last since last year. Man, 2021 is only like two years ago. And I'm just like, it wasn't that long. We were just reminiscing a little bit, Andre. Like how uh like the pandemic if things of the pandemic didn't happen uh you and i have may have never met yeah paris was like an interesting guy he's not left i mean he we saw his uh message in the chat he's just busy um i'm just glad he's doing well i kid i kid kid yeah i know you are but um i miss, I miss a lot of people too i i i i kind of like here's the thing as much as I hate the pandemic and how it affected me mentally and a lot of things just happened, I'm also grateful for the pandemic because, like, I would have never met, like, people like you, Biz, um, Paris, like, even Dor or, like, Queen Sakura. Like, the pandemic literally had, like, effect on us where we went online. Like, I streamed... Well, no, I didn't change my streaming schedule. I just streamed longer and a lot of the... Yeah. The pandemic changed the life. Yeah. Back, but... I, w yeah, no, like, I, I wouldn't necessarily say, like, I want a, a pandemic happen again. Like, all of us in the room, like, we always wear masks. We can't touch each other or, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, um... I like the pandemic only because it brought us a lot of friends. It brought us a lot of circumstances to meet other people, reconnect with people, and just... Yeah, like... Yeah, it's a silver lining, yeah. So many friends were made, and then also uh, start streaming. Yeah, and it was like, again, like, it's um, it's a silver lining, having time to spend with people. Yeah, and uh, it's like, I mean, I would still be streaming now. I wouldn't be, have met with you. I haven't met with Biz. Um, Freaking, like, I like I wouldn't even know Biz be here, because I feel like if the pandemic never happened, I would have never known you guys, and Biz would just be here. And I was like, I don't know who... Uh, Biz, Brian, or this person's name, whatever kind of thing. Like, who is he? I don't really care. But no, we've been chill, we've been hanging, and all that stuff, so... Um... Yeah, I, I appreciate the pandemic for happening only because, like, I got to meet you guys. And some of you guys are, like, some of the best online friends I've ever had, in a sense, so... Um... And I, I genuinely miss those interactions. Um, because because now the pandemic is more, in a sense, relaxed. I wouldn't say lifted, but more relaxed than anything. 
um, it's difficult for me to go back and and like uh, it's it's hard for me to like move on from some things because like some of those interactions were genuinely really really cool. Um, actually, Andre, uh, just uh, also like a different change of topic. Uh, I played uh, Mario Party 4 with uh, Void Lord James and uh, Carl today. And um, you missed some of the saltiest moments that Carl has ever had. Like, I, I don't know how, but somehow the AI and the game were just all out for Carl. Like, he didn't get the best of roles. He always like was like i mean there was parsec lag because it's parsec lag and his internet has to be all that stuff but um yeah no it, it was straight up like he was straight up salty it, it was funny and i was like i wish you wish saw some of that um but yeah no like um going back on the reminiscing yeah it's uh there was a lot of things going on should I, should I eat food right now? Um, you should probably, wait, if you haven't eaten food, eat some food, yeah. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still be chatting, um, uh, here. Uh, I'm probably still gonna plan to end within, like, the next hour. Mainly because I have to, not get up early, but, uh, get up so I have to drive to a place, which is decently far away from where I am at right now. To meet a buddy, because I'm actually meeting uh, two friends tomorrow to hang out, because I haven't seen them in like forever. So there's that. Yes. Um. Like one of them I haven't met since like I, like since university. So it's been a few years. We've chatted online, but in person we haven't seen each other in like forever. And one of them was like, uh, I went to, it was my old roommate, and I went to his wedding last year. So I have seen him, but we never got to ha chat with each other one-on-one -on -one for a long time. You know, actually, um, one of the things that I actually make it as my personal goal, and it is it is only, like, a personal goal, so... Uh, whoever watches this can be like, this is the reason why I keep streaming or become a content creator or become, like, a big celebrity on the in the world. Um, I think I just kind of, like, talk about, like, a little bit of a personal thing. Is that one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to become, like, a more popular... Uh online presence is uh because there's a part of me wants to reconnect with a lot of people um i grew up with so like and, and, and in a lot of cases in some cases like especially nowadays like you can like you might have their information but you may not even exactly be able to contact them so like just felt lonely yeah like, yeah i I kind of felt like that in some ways too, but I also wanted to do my excuse to be like a way to help get me through games too. But I get with this lo I get with the lonely thing. I I've done that. I felt that really badly too in my early days of streaming for sure. But um, streaming days uh, always have good. That's why I stream on Saturdays is like my thing because I get together, always get together with people, and when they can join, it's always a blast. Um, but. I think like one of the things that I've always uh, tried to strive for is to make a bigger online presence because there are people out there like Dor. You mentioned how Telly I can't exactly contact him. Like I may have a contact information or I may not. And one of my goals, ultimate goals, is to become such a big online presence to the point where I reconnect with people that I've longed, longed uh, to talk with or longed to like in a sense haven't interacted with them in like any capacity like i haven't seen them in years like i can tell you right now there's like at least a couple people in my head i haven't talked to since i was like maybe a kid like very very young kid preschool elementary school and i i love i love to hang out with these people but 
back when I was younger, there, there's no such thing as a cell phone, email, text message, or anything like that. I, I, at least I didn't have permission to do that. Yeah, it's sweet. And it's it's one of those things like I, that is legit one of my big reasons why I want to be popular. It's not because I want to be famous. I want to be the next Mr. Beast. Bleh, no, I want to be popular. <laughs> I, I want right. to. I want to be popular only because I want my presence to be known around the world so that when people hear of me and they actually have met me when I was younger and like legit people, not just people who've met me or like in a sense hated me or whatever and just try to jump on mm -hmm. my like bow wagon of like they know me. No, I legit Mr. Beast. <laughs> yes, I want to be Mr. Beast, uh, the, the bootleg version of Mr. Beast. The, the Asian knockoff. Um, but, um, no, I, 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 I know that there are moments where I just want to meet with people again and find the, find a way to connect with that. Cause again, I, I can't guarantee I, um, like I can't guarantee that I know, have their contact information, nor I like have um ways of contacting them like they may have just dropped cold turkey on me where they just will not contact me or the contact information is outdated and i i, I just want to know how they're doing i want to know if they're doing well or just like interact with them again because i missed the, the days of that so um that's kind of what my goals are one of my goal like one of my bigger personal goals of streaming is and becoming a bigger content creator is is really just to reconnect with people that i had a genuine connection with and maybe one day re meet them in face to face and be like hey is this something we can still continue because i i miss these interactions kind of thing mr beast but you're just dr b instead of giving out money you give out bees bees not the bees I've never seen that animated like short called Dr. Bees. I think so, yeah. This gratuitous amount of bees can only be solved with more bees. <laughs> like, here's a funny thing um, that... Oh, not good funny, but like, here's a thing that... Um, I genuinely... Uh, that I, um, what was it, like, like, the thing, like, I, I, I recall a, host, a, a wholesome family picking, fasting, unpopular bees, a large influx of bees can solve that. Yeah. Like, um, what was it? what's, what's the wording I'm saying? Um, Yeah, like I, I, I actually like I used to live in um, Chicago, uh, Illinois, Chicago, uh, for a few years, and like a few years ago, uh, I went on Facebook because I had Facebook, and um, I, I reconnected a lot of those old friends and buddies. While we didn't maintain connection during that time. Uh, because I think I was going to university and there was a lot of different changes and I was just like, it was just, I just failed to stay connected. And that was like some of them on my, on my part and then I was trying to connect to other people. But um, I genuinely, I genuinely had a moment with a lot of them because they were like, a lot of them reached back to me, messaged me and be like, yo, I remember you, how you been doing? And then, because like, it's been a few years and I remember having a lot of fun with like a lot of those classmates and being like together, like, um, if I stayed there, I might have uh, had them all as like really close friends too, but I never did. So, um, again, like it's one of those things that I hope to, uh, one day reach back to some people that I have never seen or talked to in like forever. And... That, yeah, that's generally one of the things like I, I my goals is to do so um, but 
with people like you, Dor, and Andre, and everyone else, Skull, I'm glad I'm still maintaining my connections with you guys. Even you, James. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely happy to have um, met you guys and still chat with you, even if it's like, it's not consistent or anything like that or whatever. I'm just like, as long as we are still connected and we still chat with each other, like, even if it's like, it's not every day, it's not every like week or anything like that, but hey, you still, we still pop together and say hi or how you're doing or just play games or whatever. So it's like, that's more than I can ask for. So appreciate you all. By the way, James, we need to finish up our uh, Halo Cursed playthrough. We still oh, have yeah. like, we still have like a couple levels left. Yeah, there's three left. Yeah. That's like a random tangent where like, if you guys don't know, we have, we've been playing a Cursed Halo mod. Um, and the last like, what, four levels was just James and I trying to drive a Warthog in Mario Kart style, and that was as difficult as it sounds. <laughs> so, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually wondering, Distor, do you know generally what Halo Combat Evolved, Halo 1, um, uh, is as a game like you know the gameplay and everything like that and you know of halo franchise i know andre knows but um i don't know if he knows about uh cursed halo and yeah. like one of the cursed guns is just the sniper rifle but it lags or wobbles yeah, there's the one that's kind of like the, the gun, the, the barrel flops around. Mm -hmm. It doesn't properly fire. Yeah. It just, it so, just funny things. Yeah, so Halo 1 has a mod called Cursed Halo, where it's literally like um, this guy who basically modded a bunch of different things that make the game really difficult and unplayable in certain areas, but also make it really weird and funny. Um is uh is a mod that had changed the campaign and then during the campaign it changed a part of it to add like a few more levels where it's basically oh we're on a ring and in order to get a said thing we need to start racing like mario kart in this very tiny warthog and james and i had to not only kill people but also drive a warthog without flipping it over and these warthogs can are easy to flip over james had to do a lot of driving Mm -hmm. I used to play Halo with my cousin a bunch, which game, but it was a Halo game, that's for sure. Okay. Yeah. You might have played like, like the newer one, like Halo 2 or Halo 3, is what I would say. Maybe Halo 4. But, um... It definitely was a Halo, uh, it was Halo 1, so we had co-op and we tried it, and it's as cursed as you would say, it, it sounds, it's, um, it's only weird. And I would only recommend it if you know enough how to play Halo, because the guns and weapons and everything were, are pretty difficult to handle. It's fun, yeah. Yeah, one of the vehicles just violently spins in circles. It's a Beyblade. Let it rip. One of the one of the warthog is flat, like literally paper thin flat. You can even play Minecraft um, weapons in there. We also found one of the the warthogs that it was like ten stories tall. Oh yeah, and it's so difficult to get in. If you ever, like, if you ever consider a door, um, you should have to get Halo on Steam, on PC mainly, and once you get it there, you can install the mod pretty easily. Um, even if you don't have a powerful PC, you can always 
buy the game on Steam and then wait for a time to get a good PC and then you can install it and play it. Unfortunately, Halo is like installs everything is over like 200 gigabytes. I would say only install the games that you want to play because it's like multi, it's like six games in one. You can buy it for eight dollars or less on sales. And that's U.S. dollars, by the way. I don't know the conversion rate for Australian dollars. James, what is it on top of your head? Hmm? What's the conversion rate? From Australian dollars to hmm. U.S. I don't yeah. know. To USD. Um, Australian one dollar is sixty-four cents in U.S., so slightly under a U.S. dollar. Oh, yeah. It's like 13 U A AUD. Okay. So not too bad. And that, 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 again, that's on sale. Normally, I think it's like, what? 50, is it like, what? what is it right now? $20? $30? $40? Forty dollars right now, yeah. But Steam always has it on sale, and I think it like goes down to like seven fifty to five dollars on Steam. So yeah. Oh, that's the last pay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's like six games in one. Well, hold on. Can buy the DLC for it. So Halo Master Chief Collection, you buy Halo Reach and all that stuff. Okay, so it is a. It's a bundle. So you buy all the Halo games into one. Got it. Whenever a bunch of games go on sale, I scroll through Steam long and late. Yeah. I mean, there's a few games I want to get on Steam, and I'm waiting for, like, Hi-Fi Rush to get a really good deal, Neon White to get a really good deal. There's, like, this bomb Cyber City one that's really good. And mm -hmm. then, obviously, Baldur's Gate 3, which I think should get a sale this winter season if you want to wait that long. Mm -hmm. Dude, door, I can have sex with a bear in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> no context, by the way. Because apparently that was the thing that was advertised. Yeah. Mm. What would be the first thing you do in Baldur's Gate, James? Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. I tend to be a very much chaotic good type person. So would you sacrifice people for the greater good? Mm. Context? No context. Would you sacrifice people for the greater good? I mean... If it's just like, hey, there's a trolley and there, you know one person versus two and if all things considered it's the same then save as many people as you can i guess mm -hmm. but then you get into the trolley problem like well what if one of them is really evil or something and it's just like you how, know how about this like if you had to sacrifice one person to stop a bomb would you and you just pick anybody yeah okay, push push uh, yeah, I've been watching uh, Wet Cement Lee play through for like a month. He's obsessed. I've been wanting to play it like on my Steam Deck. Because I know it's Steam Deck compatible like 100%. So I've been interested to try Baldur's Gate on this thing for a while. Mm -hmm. Like how much space do I have on my Steam Deck right now? Oh, by the way, James. I don't mm -hmm. know if you still have it installed, but I finally beat that one mission to get into uh, Metagear Survive. <laughs> Oh, I didn't. I haven't 
I never reinstalled it on my computer. But I have I have it um, now beaten, so now I can play co-op with you guys. Because I've been like I've been trying to struggle with beating that for a while. I think I don't know. I don't think Kyle was terribly interested in it to begin with, and then Chris has probably moved on. Possibly, but at the same time, I kind of like I'll be fine with playing with you <laughs> if you're down with it. Okay, so I have internal of 448.8 gigabytes and then 153.4 gigabytes free for my SD card. Uh, I can move stuff around, but I could definitely install Baldur's Gate with the stuff I inst uninstalled. But man, I bought a 500 gigabyte um, card in here and I've already like, it. I don't get all 500. I'm like, I'm considering getting the... What I'm considering doing is getting the, um, the, uh, what was it? Uh, one terabyte or two terabyte, um, NVMIE, um, chip put into the Steam Deck and then install it. Because I've seen, so I opened it up before to fix something and it, it worked. Unironically, Baldur's Gate 3 is a really good game with an amazing story. If you do play it, be wary of clown makeup. It never goes away. Yep. Are you challenging me, Dor? Are you challenging me to t put clown makeup? Mmm. That, so that sounds like a challenge. Well, speaking of Baldur's Gate, this is apparently Baldur's Gate lo Loki circus party. <laughs> what if we all became uh, clowns and became like a circus party? I don't think I'll ever stream it. It would definitely be one of those like I'll just play on my own time with friends when we get time. But it would be funny. Yeah. Yeah, Baldur's Gate will not go on sale, but for a while, at least. I'm pretty sure Elden. it will go on sale this winter, though. Elden Ring is on sale. Are you going to get it? I have it on PC. And oh, no, I have a, P a PS5. Oh, no. I mean, I wanted to get it on PS5 only because, like, that's what it was made for. Like, I like to get games when they were made for certain things. Like how they're better optimized. Than... Yeah, like originally made and all that stuff. And um, I guess I'd get it on P PS5. <laughs> Elden Ring is not really much of a co-op, though, too. Also, I don't know how good this Steam version is now, fair to be honest. Oh, man, looking at the Steam library. Let's play the game of how, how many sex games are on the uh, new and trending. Old school. Apparently, I can't see the screenshots because it's like uh, mature stuff. Oh, you know what? This is the same creator that made like the prison thingy. Oh, yeah. This is definitely made by the same person. Okay. Yeah, there's really questionable stuff on Steam. You say that too, but there's also on like Switch as well. That's an apocalyptic game that's NSFW. Hmm. Border Gate 3, I feel, isn't the best streaming game. I don't know. I think it's more fun to play than watch to be played. No, no. Like, and I, I, I probably would agree with you, Dor, because it's like a D&D &D game where your choices and role play matter. So I honestly say it's probably best to play the game as you would want it. Um, and if you want to watch it, be like watching like a TV show and cut out a lot of the longevity stuff. Because again, it's Boulder game, Boulder's Gate 3, it's also a game. 
So it has some grinding portions, some while, taking a while to get to said point A, point B, if the people know what they're doing kind of thing. So I would only put it on the stream game if it puts a consistent schedule to get people on to watch it and also gives us an excuse because again streaming for me is an excuse to put a game on and play it because i have a freaking backlogery of it mm. like on my upcoming games i wanted to play is that i want still want to play epic mickey 2 at some point psychonauts 2 there's that oh yeah mm. pm playthrough maybe Donkey Kong 64 has been heavily on there because i've had i stopped playing it for on my own for a while the other parts of Kingdom Hearts, there's also that. Pokemon XD, which I know Mike has been interested in. Pokemon TCG 2, potentially, with Andre, if he's still interested at some point. Delta Rune is definitely there, because I streamed that first chapter at one point. Uh, Pokemon Y, for sure. I know po other Pokemon Ranger games, like the Shadows of Almia, and No More Heroes, Travis Strikes Back, and No More Heroes 3 is also there, because I played those before and haven't touched the others since. Plus, you would need to be very fast switching screens. Uh, they sure don't shy away from nudity. Which is why it's probably what best for me is that... Um, well, I know that people stream it. So there has to be a setting to turn off nudity yeah, or at least I, blur it. I, I thought I heard someone mention something about like a streamer safe mode. Yeah, there should be a streamer safe mode. I, 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 would, I would also... It'd be more funny if I were to record it because again, this is why I also want a YouTuber of it. Um, because there's like thing thing about YouTube is like thing about streaming is that you are there and you're reacting to live stuff, but also if you're there, you take a long time to get through said stuff. So there's a lot of like middle ground, like walking around and stuff like that. But and you could get lost and more frustrated. If you were to record it, you can cut out all the bad stuff and add some more flair to it. So in a sense, like if I were to record Baldur's Gate and not do streamer safe mode, I could just be like, oh, I can look at all the stuff. Ooh, steamy scenes, but blur it all for you guys and just be like, ha, you can't watch this like what I do. <laughs> Maybe you just get to see my face react to it. <laughs> It'd just be like a zoom in on my face with my eyes bulging. Yeah, but like there are certain games I want to re uh, record. Like, um, for example, like with um, if you don't know Sonic 06, there's like a Sonic game on uh, on Xbox in two that came out in 2006 that, uh, on Xbox 360 and PS3. That's notoriously one of the worst games of all time, and I know that that's a game I've been wanting to play, and. Uh, all of that, but I am never going to be streaming it because one, it takes a long time to get through a lot of things. And I think it'd be more fun with me, Carl, and our buddy Sean, like Fanto, and another uh, buddy Sean, um, uh, you've seen on stream a couple times, um, play it on our group channel. And uh, if we all agree on it, because Sean is the only one that is still disagreeing with it, but I will firmly convince him at some point. Um, mm. And like, we will record it so done we take out all the ed the the long and stuck parts and we have to redo stuff kind of thing right um and then i want an editor to take up all that our audio all of our um moments and then make a consent a consent um playthrough where it'll be a, fun, a lot of funny stuff so that's where i'm at with that stuff playthrough like it's definitely one of those games like i would not want to play it on stream just because of how long and how boring it can be in many parts so yeah, there, there are definitely games that i would rather play on on record and that's definitely there other games i could definitely just see myself just play on stream just because like there's gonna be a lot of restructuring for my streams and recording once start setting up with like an editor and stuff but for now yeah it's the it's it's not a thing Adore, if you know anybody who wants to edit for me uh let, let me know because uh i won't pay them but i would appreciate them her <laughs> 
But yeah, no, mm. in all seriousness, I, 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 uh, once I make a lot of money, then I can start, uh, sending people, um, I can start hire, try to hire an editor. Mm. Got no one? No, that's fine. Mm. If you ever know any good artists or, uh, editors that really want to work with, uh, content creators or anything like project wise, uh, you can always send them my way because I am honestly interested in getting to know more connections personally. That's, that's, that's mm -hmm. legit what I want to do. I feel that, like my, my attention problem. span is too short for proper editing work. <laughs> that, that, that's definitely me because my ADHD is there and I don't find overall fun. Again, there's like a few videos I still have yet to finish editing for and I will probably try to return to those at some point. I will actually probably bring back my editing streams at some point too and just edit some of that stuff because I do want to get back into it because like one of the things is just obviously the motivation and the big thing of getting me to motivate to do things is like streaming for example I say this is a time no more things this is the thing I'm going to be doing like that's what the games are with my streams so I've done editing streams before and so I can do them again and I probably will that's why I do like the chill, chill build streams and all that stuff So yeah, it's 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 one of those like I will figure out in the future. <sighs> that was all your future your future you problem. That's the thing is I don't want to have future me deal with all the things, but my future myself has to deal with all the things. James, why don't you take a lot of my stress off my future self and uh, do the things I want to do? Mm. And I'll take credit for them. How about that? Mm. Mm. Is that a yes? That's not a no. I agree. Oh, that makes sense. It is getting late. Uh, I should probably head off to bed. I appreciate you, Dor. Is that for the count? Yeah. No, I, I, I've enjoyed our chats and everything. I appreciate you, Dor, for hanging out, of course. Um, I hope everyone is taking care and obviously uh, staying safe. Um, yeah, no, again, like, I stream not try to be professionally. Like, I, there, there's going to be a restructuring of my streams for sure at some point. Because, again, when it come when I have an editor, I want to do a different restructuring just to make things a little bit easier. Because when I was working with Telly, I was just like, yeah, this stuff is starting to get a little bit complicated. Just a little bit. So, it, I, working with Telly, I helped give me an idea of what, what I should do. Um... And I think that's what I need to focus on is just like restructure it just slightly just so that things are a little bit easier for like editor and stuff. But that's also a thing that's a future me problem, as you say. And, um, but yeah, no, my streams are always just chill hangs. Um, and I appreciate all of you guys for coming in and joining, of course. Mm -hmm. Uh,. I hope everyone have a great and safe day. Uh, I don't think I have anyone else to raid other than Emden because everyone went to bed. James, go live so I can send the raid to you. <laughs> yeah, I will raid Emden again. I hope you take care, uh, Dor. I almost called you George for some reason. Yes, Dor, you, Shed, Frog, and George are all the same person. You, you, you uh, Warden is the only different person. Um, never skip it. Yeah, you, 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 Warden is the only different person. You, George, are exactly the same. Uh, you just pretend to be in a different country just to trick me. I get it. I remember, yeah, I keep kept fixing you with George in their past, so that that's never clear. You're right. Okay, yeah. 
the, I'm always right. See, Warden also took away your controls for it. Revealed. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm doxing you with all your secret story. Yeah, your, your real identity is George, but you try to pretend it off after all these years. <laughs> after all these years, I finally figured out, and I'm revealing the truth to everyone. No one will ever catch your um, lies ever again. Anyway, thanks, Dor, for hanging. I hope you have a great rest of your night slash day. Get some rest and get some eats, good eats. I hope to catch you later, Dor. Um, and as always, uh, take it easy. All right. See ya, Dor. Bye. Night, night. Night, night, everyone. Mm -hmm.